Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing kind of a different video and I wanted to look at my old Goodreads reviews and kind of read them and look over them. So today I present to you reading my old Goodreads reviews. <laughs> yeah, I wanna say that you want me when I'm upside down, upside down. Yeah, I Basically, I've been on Goodreads for since 2015, 2014. It's not that long. Some people have been on it for way longer than I have, but I do have a lot. I think I've done a review for every single book that I've read on Goodreads. So if you don't follow me on Goodreads, link down below, shameless plug. Let's go down to some books that I maybe hated or that I loved and see what I said about them at the time and see, I don't know, how bad my smelling was, which I still always screw up on Goodreads review because that Goodreads reviews and their spelling because I don't really care. Usually I write them just to get my thoughts down. <laughs> we'll read one for Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. It has a 4.2 average on Goodreads. It was published in 2005. It's a solid, like, little bit over 200 pages. This, a 3.5 stars. And this was for the Dewey's 24-hour thought. It was my fifth book. And I was at 862 pages. Jeez. Slay, honey. <laughs> and I put a quote. So I let go, lost in oblivion, dark and silent and complete. I found freedom. Losing all hope was freedom. This book was, oh man, <laughs> it really has an amazing twist. No, I didn't love this. The writing was nothing special and it sometimes just fell flat for me. Saying that though, the book had such a good twist and the concept of Fight Club was so interesting and that's the spoilers removed. I'm not going to read the spoilers, but basically I liked the book. Like the book was okay, but the ending made up for a lot of it is basically what I'm getting from this, which is weird because I love the Dewey 24. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I love interrupting myself and cutting myself off. Um, Last Night I Sang to the Monster by Benjamin Leary Signs. I read this October 17th of 2015. And this book has a 4.18 Goodreads average. It's 240 pages and it was published in 2009. So I also read this for Dewey's. This was my sixth book. And I gave this 4.25 stars. Which, so I had a quote. So I've lived 18 years in a season called sadness where the weather never changed. I guess I believed it was only season I deserved. I don't know how, but something happened, started to happen. Something around me, something inside me, something beautiful, something really, really beautiful. Um, and I said, this book was really wonderful. Benny Miller Times is an author that is so incredibly talented. This book was different. Most books that I read take place in a psych ward or a mental hospital, but this took place at a camp. The camp was cool because you could leave whenever you want. It's like to help you build your strength and get help. Writing was amazing, beautiful, simplistic, etc. Our characters, so I liked Zach. We got a really good feel for his character. His past was really sad and ugh. I just really love the bond with the roommates. Like it was a beautiful, <laughs> which I love this book so much. Like I honestly don't remember writing these. So the fact, I don't know, I think it's cool to go and look back on them. Now let's look at my review for Throne of Glass, which I never continued with this series. I read the first three and I was just like, mm, nope. Um, so this book has a 4.23 Goodreads average. It's 400 pages and it was published in 2012. So I read this. So I didn't even write a review. <laughs> oh, my bad. Ooh, The Accent Season by Maura Fowley Doyle. I remember this. Um, this was released in 2015. It has a 3.59 Goodreads average and it's 282 pages. So I gave this three stars. And I said, and I read this October 18, 2005. 2015! 2005! I would have been like four. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I said, well, this was interesting. Damn, this book was just so odd. <laughs> I did enjoy the atmosphere and the feel this book had to it. It was really raw and creepy and I did not expect this book to be anything like that. I thought this concept was so odd and interesting. You said that, Julia. The characters were so dull. They were so, so dull though. So dull though. Okay. Like the only one that had some depth was B. While reading this, I just really wanted to know how this was going to end. I'm still kind of confused by the ending, but overall, if you're looking for a fast and creepy read, I'd give it a shot. Okay, okay. Okay, not bad, Julia, not bad. I see a book that I give gave like a really bad rating. Ooh, Drive by James Salas, which if you don't know, this is one of my favorite movies. So I was like, Julia, read the book, honey. Okay, so Drive was published in 2011, apparently, or this edition was, I don't know. It, so it probably came out after the movie then, because I think the movie is, I don't know. <laughs> 
It is 158 pages and has a 3.47 Goodreads average and I gave it two stars and I said, well, I didn't fully finish this one. I read over half and just like skim read the rest. I love this movie though, like love it. Plus Ryan Gosling, so like in all caps. But the book was so confusing, was so difficult to follow. Half the time I didn't know what was happening. I love the idea in the book, could have been great. So that's why I bumped it up a star. You bumped it up for potential. Oh, I was trying to be nice. <laughs> Yeah, now I don't even care. I'd be like, one star. Um, but the characters were underdeveloped and just odd. I really wish James Hiles gave our main character a name instead of our driver. Like, oh, okay. I get the movie. He didn't have a name, but still. This book could have been great, but Sally did not enjoy this at all. Maybe I'll give it another shot in the future, but at this point, I don't think I will. Okay, Julia, The Shade. Love it. And I read that July 12th, 2015. So there you guys have it. Um, if you like this video idea, let me know if you'd like to see a part two in the future. I think it's interesting to look back on like my old Goodreads reviews and I'd love to hear some of yours as well. So feel free to like link your Goodreads down below. Um, I do follow, I do like follow everyone back on Goodreads. It usually takes me like a few days because I don't go on it very often, to be honest. Um, I don't go on it as much as I used to, especially because I only know what it, like, I don't even think I ever accept friend requests on my phone. I always do it on my computer because it's easier. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye!